Okay, that is a lot of onions. Boy, it looks so beautiful. That waterfall looks fantastic, Jerry. Wow, just an absolute jungle. Yes, look at this. What cool stones. We found Aquascape from the 19, August 2nd of 1992 yes. Chicago Tribune. And I saw a picture of you. You were a little kid playing with turtles. Yes. And I went and I called you and then you came and I'd already built a top pond and you came and said, oh, this would be great. So the slope and you were actually building the waterfall, sitting in the mud, putting the rocks yes. for the waterfall. Yes. And I tell everybody that story. This owner actually put every waterfall in there. Well, that's how you stay in shape. Yeah, and yeah. then I stopped doing that. <laughs> well, when I come in the house? All right. I would love to. Hey. Haley and Greg. Debbie, I would love that. I remember sitting right here and I had a very awkward conversation with you. Uh -oh. You were talking about, Debbie, how you also work at the hospital. And I said, oh, are you a nurse? And you said, no, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember being embarrassed, like, oh, why did I say she was a nurse? Because, you know, yes, a geneticist. And then what kind of doctor were you? Pediatrics. Very nice. Okay, so we got what, bran muffins or apple? Um, that's a zucchini apple and that's a chocolate something. Oh, I will take a zucchini apple. Oh, I have some pictures. Oh, wow. Yeah, Look before all the plants had established themselves. Those are my daughters. Oh, are they? No, those are my daughters. Oh, okay. okay. Let me see. So, so this, this is, is back in 93. We used to have those dinners for the people who had your pond. Uh, pond tours. Yeah. Yes. Sure. We'd, have, we'd, have, we'd be a host family. We were actually on your first one. You said you learned something very valuable when you put my pond in. You have to make bottom pond bigger than the top. Isn't that amazing? This is where I learned this, and I've been preaching that ever since because it was such a long waterfalls that we had here. The pond wasn't big enough to hold all the water when the pump went out. When the pump went out, it overflowed it. Yes, yes, yes. And this is where I learned it, yep. building Jerry and Debbie's and Kirkus a, Pond. A pond. When you guys came and redid it, you extended it. Made it bigger. Made it bigger. And that's how you learn. Yeah. Awesome. Wow, and this is just over an acre, this property, huh? One and a quarter, yep. Wow, it is an absolute jungle, and I love it. So there's the fish cave up there? Yeah, the fish cave is underneath the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Boy, it looks so beautiful. That waterfall looks fantastic, Jerry. Yeah, well, you guys did it. Yeah, but it's just so nice, and it's been functioning for 30 years. And what I love about this when I'm walking down is it's the mystery. So it keeps going, but you can't tell it yeah, keeps going. Yeah, and you see different spots and at different angles and different sun on it all the time. And, and every waterfall feels different because it sounds different, looks different. Beautiful. Look at this. Kids love to jump in air, throw rocks. That's what kids should be doing, not playing video games. Wow, this bridge looks like uh, pretty rustic. <laughs> you saw the bridge on the original picture. Yes, that's been there for 30 years, so it's still functioning, so that works. You guys are master gardeners. I love the size of the hosta. Right. She's done all this. She is talented. Wow. Just an absolute jungle. That's different from those first pictures. Yes, <laughs> it is beautiful. I'm not sure what plant this is, but that is gorgeous. Smoke bush, yep. What is this? Smoke bush. Beautiful with that burgundy leaves. I had a big oak tree over uh -huh. there that crashed down and destroyed my shed. Oh, wow. I had another oak tree here that fell over. Well, when you've been here for 40 years, that's what happened. So this is the pond that we expanded and made yeah. bigger. So the old one ended. It was right into here. Uh-huh. And then you guys made it further. So what we were talking about before is because of that long stream, if the power went out, the water would overflow the bottom. So we made the bottom pond bigger. And then I've learned and been teaching it ever since how not to build a pond the first time. This is just spectacular. Deb, you're a master gardener. See our frog? Oh, I remember that frog yes. statue. Yes, that is perfect for that. It's completely hidden by all the hostas. Wow, look at this. And the lower patio. Steps across. Yes, yes, look at this. What cool stones. And I love, love the lilies. And they have been coming back for 30 years in here. The water's gonna be darker because of all of the oak trees and the leaves and there's tannins in the water, which is not a bad look, but it's just so natural. I mean, look at the edge. The goal when you're building a water feature is you don't know where the water ends and the land begins. And so to have ornamental grasses and ground covers and where you can see some stones and other ones are completely hidden, that's kind of how you soften up and make things so that looks natural versus a ring of pearls look all the way around. Listen to that sound. 
just spectacular. And I love the sedums growing right here in the stepping rocks. Just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And the lilies have been coming back year after year, huh? Little rock garden. <laughs> you saw this model rock garden. Yeah, I love it. With the succulents right in there. Absolutely. Everything is so rustic. Love this way up to the gazebo. Is this onions from your garden? Yep. Wow. Okay, that is a lot of onions. Holy cow. Six different kinds. And you said you have a one acre lot somewhere else with this, huh? This is a gardener's delight, I can tell you that. What a beautiful gazebo. There's the frog that has been completely entrenched in plants. I'm a chair. Yes, so, so cool. Nice. In here, it almost accentuates the sound of the waterfall. It does sound fantastic. That is a really cool plant, a Rex begonia. Look at that. Oh, you got the solar panels up there. Mm -hmm. So you got not only the hybrid cars, but the solar panels to charge them. They're not hybrid, electric. Electric cars, solar panels to charge them. Pretty cool. What a beautiful property that you've had. You've been here since 1985, huh? Raised a family and had a pond since 1993. So cool. So I wanted to give you this. This is the Hands of the Artist coffee table book. So this uh -huh. is all of our work and our customers' work wow. all over the world. So when I built your pond, I didn't even manufacture equipment but now that's probably the age of your grandkids right yeah. aqualand yeah. and so and there is me when i was 12 building my first pond so this is my stories of my ponds throughout my life wow. and then it's the stories of ed and brian and then it's our customers all over the world and the projects that they do oh, so wow that thank you for thank being you so one of the much. pioneers and dealing with aquascape in the beginning years yeah and uh because of customers like you i was able to create my hobby and put it into my career right. thanks for the take hospitality care. nice to meet okay. you take care thanks, just so amazing. I probably haven't been to this garden in 20 years. This is the pond that taught me that you have to have a big enough base and a big enough pond to capture a large stream and waterfalls. In 1993, as a 23-year-old kid, in Illinois, this is a mountain, the biggest slope that I had ever built on. And that's what differentiates Aquascape from every other manufacturer of water feature equipment in the world. We actually build ponds. We install ponds. Of course, you learn a lot through trial and error. And over 32 years, I have learned a lot through trial and error. And we teach that. If you're interested in finding a career or you have a son or a grandson that would be interested in a career of building water features for people, changing houses into homes with water, which is what we love to say. I'm going to put a link to our training, the Aquascape training. We are the world's largest decorative water feature company. The majority of my business is manufacturing equipment and selling it to other contractors. I don't talk about the equipment. I don't talk about the skimmers and the biofalls. That's the team Aquascape construction. I started this vlog to share my passion with the world on how people are living the Aquascape lifestyle. People would ask all the time, how do you build these things? And I thought that wouldn't be a lifestyle channel. That would be more of a construction channel. So I started the Team Aquascape construction channel. So mine is the what, what we do. The Team Aquascape is the how, the construction. And then the why is Ed the Pond Professor. So we have three channels, all dedicated to different audiences. Team Aquascape on the construction, the how. Greg Witzak, like the pond guy, live in the Aquascape lifestyle. And Ed the Pond Professor, my longest teammate that helped me build this pond in 1993. He's been with me exactly 30 years. He was on this project. He is the why, the science behind this. And if you're interested in getting into this business, I'm going to put that link below to all of our training. I love my customers.